Hello everyone, welcome to Ronaldo.tv Game and it's Mal here and welcome to our new series, it's the FM Manager, it's Concert Football Club, I'm actually a manager uh, on the management committee, sorry, of Concert in real life, so I know a little bit about the club. This guy here, Aristotle Guerin Lakongo, Lakonga, is actually a player who's plays for Concert in real life, the rest of them don't, Jordan Mellish used to, um, but none of the others I don't think play for them. I've totally rejigged the whole team. Possibly John Joe might have done. Let's have a look. Concert. Mm, no. I uh, don't know. But anyway, not to worry. We're just going to have a quick look through the team. I'm just going to show you the report. Um, but before we do that, I just want to quickly show you history. Northern League Division 1. Last season, we won the league, ladies and gents. So we did very well. Won by seven points. So we were promoted to uh, the Northern Premier Division 1 North, where we're currently buggered at the bottom um, now we could have done a lot better uh, we've been unlucky in a few games we've had one player sent off we've, you know kind of not been doing too good i expect that we're going to improve but for now we've got our next game which is the fa cup against thurrock so we want to want to win that i just want to show you first of all the team now look at the potentials here they've all got potential to do very very well the only guy who's not so good is gareth Ayres, but i've just got him as cover for tommy sill um who are all young now i just want to show you the general information look at the ages going from young we've got over half the squad is 16 and 17 years old oldest player 24 which is ashley young not the ashley young another ashley young but even he's pretty good he would be a leading player for most teams in the league so we have a good squad we just have a young squad I'm um, just going to show you the depth chart so you understand where we are before we play this game. Um, potential ability. Current current ability. Custom current ability. Now, what difference is that to all current ability? I don't know. Um, but anyway, as you can see, uh, John Brown is our best. Now, this is in the view of our Robert Avery. But Matthew Martin, as you can see, has different views entirely. So quite difficult to say who's best um Avery thinks it's Aristotle Garen the Conga is better than James Sonner and Martin thinks that Sonner's the best forward we've got so that's that's all pretty close um so at the minute we're going off uh Mellish O'Connor Envoy McAvoy sorry and Searle with Postlethwaite in goal got young Kyle Bath played a lot for us last season played 42 games for last season did very very well he's an able deputy um so we've got we've got those guys uh we've got john brown center mid we've got tom murray who's on, currently suspended so we're going to be playing ashley young now what is how does martin see that he sees young as our second choice as well um so we've currently got leon chapman in there but i'm going to go off what he says and play play mr young now john joe thompson uh, i actually did a um go back to the depth chart sorry Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I actually did a, a fun thing where I actually lost a game, unfortunately. I was third in the league. I'd won two and drawn one, and the game crashed, so I lost that one. Um, so just going back to Robert Avery for a second. It says that Steve Owen is our, our best right attacking right, and Peter King attacking left, with John Joe behind and Alnson. So I'm going to give them a go. Um, Chris Warren has been the one who generally plays there. Um, let me just have a look and see how he's getting on. Is he having a... He's doing okay. Um, Owen as well is doing okay. I think probably I give the nod to the informed player. Even though he's a youth player. Um, and Aris hasn't really got going. I've got Kamishong there at the minute. In fact, I'm going to play Aris because I don't think he's really fully kicked in yet. I need to tell him. I'm going to have a private chat room. Whoops. Wrong way, and have a private chat room and say, you know, you must do, you must do better. Um, well, I'll be off for now, so I've ruined his. Um, he's not happy, but you know what can you do? So let's play the game. Let's see how we get on. We need to win this game. We've got this is our formation. I'll go into more detail that later. But basically, I want the attacking players. Assistant, I want Aris, uh, Allenson getting up there. As you can see, he's a he's a five star player. 
a uh, very very good player and I want to see him getting in there supporting Aris getting a nice forward four and he's breaking up the play um, so we're going to see how we get on against a Thuruk team who you know we really want to beat these guys we want to get to the first round full get some money would you a good performance definitely because we've just had lots of bad luck in the last few games we've been getting turned over by teams who we should be beating we just haven't done that well Ooh, it's a good shot by Harris just wide See, and try and get possession. He broke it up. King got it. Passed Ashley Young to John Brown to King. Now King last season was just killing the Northern League, but hasn't done that well yet so far. Nico Weatherell. That's a good ball. He shouldn't have shot. He should have crossed, but quite a nice run there. Saved by Postle for it in goal. And King to take the corner. And then just to keep it in. Has a good cross to hit the bar. Cross come shot. Unlucky. So we're doing well here. That could be offside, but he's putting it inside netting. Tommy Searle. Out to Allison to King, to Allison again, out to, looking for that killer ball, yes it's there, Peter King scored loads of them last season, great timing, 36 minutes, perfect start, as you can see, Sean Connor passes to Steve Owen, nice long searching cross, King came in, scored on a tight angle, well happy with that, come on, kick on from there, Steve Owen still looking very nervous, but no need, John Brown gets in the book. We don't want that. And that's half time. So, uh, room for improvement, I think there certainly is. Brown, we want to tell him just to calm down. We just need to calm down. Seem to calm down, that's good. Just tell him to calm it. Um, what else? Any play? Everyone else looks pretty composed. I'm wondering if we should put Greg Mosley. Well, it's hard to say. Leon Chapman. We're looking for a defensive. Well, hmm. We don't really have any Sonna. Might put Sonna on for King later if he doesn't hold his fitness. And we've obviously got Comishong as well. We'll leave it as it is for now. We want to try and get another goal to really put the, the pain on these guys. The key thing for, and I know this from actually dealing with uh, concert as a, ooh, I mean, we got through, as a club is that it really is all about FA Cup runs and Cup runs because that's where you get your, your big lump of prize money from. Good cross! Ooh. Unlucky. Good play from King again. I don't want to mess around too much here guys Oh no 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 Over the bar I don't want to watch these guys on the break That's a great ball And a save by Apostle Thwait So we're going to make a couple of changes We're going to put Greg We're going to put Leon Chapman Actually, I don't know what I need to do is I need to make a few advanced tactical changes as well. So we're going to put Brown up to there and Greg Mosley on for him. We're going to pull King and Owen back. Probably Allenson to there. And we're going to take Allenson off for Chapman. See if any of these guys have a well, young players there. So, next thing we're going to be just uh, we're going to leave it as control, but we're just going to leave it balanced. And we're going to edit our instructions. 
retain possession. There we go. So here we go with all these changes. Ready to just consolidate until the end of the game. Peter King's taking a knock, bad time. Now, wouldn't be against uh, I'm scoring here. See, there are plenty of lads behind the ball. Trying to break it up, that's good. They're moving it, being forced to move it around and take a long shot. So I'm happy with that, that seems to be working quite well. Just got to hold on another 13 minutes, 12 minutes. Oh, that's a great ball. Possible for it saved. What a ball. Now we have one more substitution to make, and I'm going to make Dylan Purvis for Jordan Mellish. Just to give him a break. We need someone strong in defence, nice and fit. Got three minutes to survive here, guys. Two, one minute. So it's going right to the wire. And the goal would be awful. Saved by Possum for it. Phew, that was a close one. Outside cut of French, that should be it. Yes! So, an amazing win. He's saying we don't need to address anything, but I think passionately a nice victory. We didn't play great, but we played quite well. Peter King with a man of the match performance. So let's just see who we play next. I think it looks like we're going to be playing. Press conference, see you nothing know, next round, how far do you realistic can go? We take it one step at a time. Peter was outstanding. He's one of the good guys. And we're given £5,700. So that's an important boost. If you can get through a few rounds of the cup, it saves you getting sponsorship, you know. Um, let me just have a look at our finances. As you can see, we um, you know, our balance isn't good. Our sponsorships are next to nothing. Net debt is 38k. Where's how do you find your right? Yeah, we're projected to lose a lot of money. Yeah, we're projected to lose a lot of money. I'm just trying to see the summary of how much have we actually got in the in the bank. The balance. Yeah, um we're losing we're losing fair fair amount of money. Um I'm just gonna go to boardroom. I think that gives you a better yeah, it gives you a better. We're down thirty eight K, um but we've made a bit of money already this season in, in player sales. Uh, current other concert staff advise director of football none so we should really look for a director of football so let's let's do that um, staff search because the director of football does a few cool things um, want you know anyone really who could probably do with someone like that 60 quid a week Get him down to 55. There you go. We'll have him. Right, guys. So that, I think, is about it. I want to see who we who we play in the next round. We've got the FA qualifying draw tomorrow. So let's see who we get. And we'll do a little... Uh, so here we go. Are we in this draw? Yes, we are. So... How many? 232 teams left to draw. So let's draw all teams. Let's see who we've got. We've got Stafford Rangers. And we've been drawn as the home team. They're in the Northern Premier Premier, which means they're in the league above us. And they are mid-table. So, yeah, it's going to be a fun game. Let's just see when we're going to play these guys. Play them in... We've got the Northern League Cup second round against Grantham. And hasn't quite 
so it clicked as to exactly when we're playing these guys let's go back in and have another look does it even say hey oh yeah playing them on the 13th so in a week's time so guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the first video check back we're going to be playing stafford and grantham in the next video both home games and uh hopefully win against run corn in the meantime but cup fever is in in bellevue stadium and we'll see you guys next time please subscribe thanks for watching